hello blessed fam and welcome back to another video today i'll be making a little simple wellness shot that is really good for us i have my little ginger here and i'm using it today i'm not supposed to be really consuming ginger because it's very harsh on my stomach it doesn't work well so i'm using a little ginger and i have some powder turmeric here there's no additives to it nothing it's just plain powdered grind out turmeric this is totally optional if you don't have any fresh turmeric you can also use the powdered one that has nothing added to it i use a tablespoon of it and i have one orange here this is just three things well four things technically will be in this um wellness shot you can also add black pepper in it so that you're you can absorb the nutrients from the turmeric and the turmeric also you can choose to peel orange like how you would peel a pineapple you know face down instead of peeling it this way um you don't have to do it this way it's optional anyway that's easier and that is really better for you so i'm gonna cut it in two as we'll normally do and then cut it in two again so i'm gonna cut it into four pieces basically so it's easy on the blender to um blend i highly recommend that you do that and these are the skins of the orange we normally in jamaica leave them out whether it's on a counter we hang it up on some things so that it will you know dry out a bit and then we will use it in our tea you can mix it with mint you can mix it with cinnamon leaf just about anything and i blended this for about two minutes i think the most i have my measuring cup here this is a two cup measuring cup yes basically so i am pouring my mixture in this nice cute little affordable strainer i think i paid about 150 dollars at this strainer yes it's that cheap and after straining this, there is no residue, nothing that is left back in the liquid at all. You will see, guys. You will see through the glass. There is nothing. And the pulp that, left, that is left back, you can use it to bake. You can use it in your smoothie. Just look at that. You can use it in absolutely anything that you want to use it in. And if you have not done a wellness shot before... I advise you that you do, you know, take this opportunity to do so. Guys, I just finished making um this immune booster and you can feel free to add um black pepper to it if you want. My husband said that he's gonna add black pepper. <coughs> so this is the amount that I have left, one cup, and I'm gonna stir it when I'm finished. But this is what we're taking our shots in. We're going to take it now. My husband put black pepper in his because they said I so in order to absorb the nutrients of the turmeric, you can add a little black pepper. I don't want to add any because I don't want to. So it's optional as to how you like yours. So we're going to take a sip now mm -hmm. and you can tell how it is. There's no sugar added in these things, no only but if you want to, sure can. All right. Cheers to health Amen. and long life and prosperity and a healthy immune system. <laughs> Alright, one, two, three, go. It's actually good. So let's make some fried dumpling. I have a pound of flour in this bag and I'm using half of the pound of flour because I am not making a lot of dumpling. I had a quarter teaspoon I think. Yes, quarter teaspoon of salt and I also added in I think one teaspoon of baking powder and I'm using two tablespoons of butter. Now the butter that I am using is salted butter, but it's reduced salt butter. So it's reduced salted butter and reduced fat butter. That's the type of butter that I'm using. And it's two tablespoons. I cut it up in cubes, as you could see. And now I'm just mashing it out in the casino. You have to like mash crumb it out, you know, in the flour. And I'm using cold ice water. For this recipe sometimes i use regular water 
sometimes i use cold water but for this recipe i'm using some cold water that i had in the refrigerator to mix this dough i just want to gently mix the dough mix the dough until it comes together with one ball this is simple easy jamaican fry dumpling some people use sugar in the dumpling i don't use sugar in my dumpling if i'm doing sugar dumpling i do sugar dumpling if i'm doing the regular fried dumpling i do the regular fried dumpling. it's optional to you as to what you want to do and that's my dough i'm gonna let it rest at 20 minutes and here i'm back showing you what the dough looks like it's soft and you maybe could have seen the butter that is in it and this is my pan i don't do fried dumpling in deep oil unless it's a lot of persons i'm cooking for then I would have to take out my pot for little oil to fry dumpling. But when I'm at home and I'm looking about fried dumpling, for me or my husband or certain family members that come around a few people, I don't deep fry my fried dumpling because personally, I cannot um, consume, I'm not supposed to consume oily things like that with so much oil. So for me, this is how I fry my fried dumpling. This is how I make them this shape like when I'm doing boiled dumpling. This is how I like it. Um, it's my preference if you don't like it this way you don't have to do it this way listen everybody has a choice you can do it in a lot of oil deep fried just the way you like it and you want the trick to this is you need to turn your dumplings don't wait for them to cook three minutes on that that's how i do it i turn them a lot keep on turning them so they don't burn and get crispy and the entire time i'm frying these dumplings I have my fire on low heat, low all the way. And I had a little bit of dough left, so I just put this little twist thing, like twist donut. <laughs> but this is how I do my fried dumpling, and I hope that you can try it at your house. If you have, you know, flour, you just half a pound, pound, and use it, and you know, see how it goes. And you can definitely try with this recipe. It was not salty. If you want it more salty, you can use more salt in it. And I like to cover it for a little while and let them steam a little bit. Then take it out. And this is how it's looking. Guys, look at the layers of texture in this. Yeah, come. Okay, Mm -hmm. Listen to this. Front row of her and more. Mm -hmm. They're really good. Try out this recipe. Yep. You need to, and I'm serving it up with some Thai chili tuna. Yes. Mm -hmm. I really like that tuna. If you have none. Mm -hmm.